whoa what a day in the crypto space right i mean i couldn't uh, wait to jump on here and chat with you about chronos crypto.com crow coin you know chronos holders or investors i think you're probably aware of the recent drama the sec is making some serious moves demanding over four billion dollars from both cc and binance i mean that's a mind-blowing uh, amount and everyone's talking about it but i mean here's a ticker amidst all this chaos crypto.com chronos seems to be sailing smoothly and uh, that's what i want to dive into today the chat well we may be down six percent but you know we're facing this resistance at uh, 10 cent so before i unravel this crypto drama do me a favor so much i'd like button to show some love for the channel and if you are just make sure that you turn on the notification if you haven't done so so we witnessed the sec a security exchange commission going after Binance and uh, waving around that four billion dollar demand. I mean, that's the kind of news that gets uh, everyone talking, right? But then, just when you thought the storm had passed, here comes Gary Gensler, the boogeyman, the sec chairman looking at Kraken. It's like, well, that's a tough one, Ripple. Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, and many others are under scrutiny. But what uh, about Crypto.com and Kronos? They seem to be standing strong. I mean, no lawsuits yet, no big troubles. That's what caught my attention. Are they coming for Crypto.com later? Well, Crypto.com, according to their website, talks about... Um, according to their website, they talk... A big game about security and compliance and you know what so far they seem to be leaving it up and they've got two CFTC approved product you know the strike options and the up and down options it's a kind of it kind of feels like they've got a good rapport with the regulators at least for now so uh, what's the deal with crypto.com I mean why are they different is uh, is our money saved? Those are the things that we everybody's asking. Is it? Uh, I mean, let's have the, this conversation, right? We are in twenty twenty three, almost twenty twenty four, and so far so good. They navigated the worst in twenty twenty two, if you remember. I mean, on scattered, and when I hopped on to Twitter Space and the Crowby Group, I mean, over. Yeah, I mean, people are just buzzing with excitement, being part of Kronos and having Crypto.com as the blockchain really feels like a solid selling point. But let's talk about um, Crypto.com's marketing game. They are literally everywhere. You know, F1, UFC, soccer games, you name it. Even in the F1 Vegas ways, how many exchanges did you see on on the cars but who were the main sponsors me ask crypto.com you know they know where to put their money and it's not just on the advertisement they are investing in licensing protecting customers and adding the adding some real values let's talk about this uh, sec lawsuit and uh, the sec is throwing punches around but crypto.com seems to be dodging all of them uh let's go to the twitter handle so imagine if crypto.com gets to it uh it will be a big blow to your image because remember according to the twitter the first blockchain that inter operates with both ethereum and cosmos ecosystem for defy nft games metaverse and you name the rest so if they were being sued i mean it would really be a contradiction to everything that they've been claiming right and let's not forget about chronos we just got the permission in dubai you know remember i got the licenses in dubai and i reported on that is it pinned right here okay it was pinned but it's been taken uh, maybe something more important came up like apply to a three months program focus on advancing web3 dApps of course applications they are more important so um 
let's not just uh, let's just switch gears to the market right crypto.com is holding strong at nine right now nine cents down six percent market cap 2.2 billion still there the volume in the past 24 hours still tight still remains flat uh so we are still at uh, position position 30 right here on coin market cap climbing up i mean it's impressive how they surpass ethereum classic and others the market is uh, really dancing to the universe relationship with bitcoin i mean as bitcoin goes up some odds go down and vice versa but that's the beauty of the crypto roller coaster right so in a nutshell i'll say that crypto.com seems to be weathering the storm pretty well no lawsuits a robust marketing strategy and a solid compliance measures the cards are their next big products and the ceo hints at a, at getting a booth same a booth very soon so it's not just about being safe i think it's about offering some quality products and i'm pleased with uh, what i'm saying if there's room for improvement sure but for now crypto.com is doing things right and uh, some quick predictions on the chat yeah we are having this pullback which was expected but remember that we found support at about 8.7 cents and we are just sitting on that technically because we are like three percent away from that so we may bounce off that again or we may even come as low as 8.4 cents it's a region right this is a support region between 8 point i'll say 8.6 to 8.9 cents and uh we may be bouncing back again and uh, this time well i think we'll be going to test this historical resistance right here at 12.8 cents and so far we are about 42 percent away from that anyway um I'd like to know your thoughts in the comment section about what you think about crypto.com is the sec going to come after them are they going to look for some loopholes to come after them you, you never know with these guys right but the, my prediction 42 percent away from now and uh, we're we'll making some serious dough that was in the short term december we're taking a broader scheme of look at things you may say oh the long term Prediction is, I'll say, 49, 50 cents. Yeah, 50 cents, that's it. We are 473% away from that. So 50 cents, here we come. Yep. So drop your comments in the comment section below and uh, let's get this going. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.